Gals, and here from Drake Wing Gaming, and some of you on Twitter, The Gaming Drag. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Tide. This time we're jumping into Ranzo's path. Apparently, apparently Ranzo is the only one who has a uh, Chapter Two available right now, so we're gonna we're gonna do his run. We're gonna do his first, so, or his second. So Joe's path just basically concluded only four minutes of content. So I'm gonna bring y'all two Dawn Tide videos. So let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. We're gonna stay at the table. Sal stands from her seat and takes a gulp of her wine. She unclips a brown, beaten-up wallet from the cord tethered to her belt, belt loop, dropping it on the table. Wendy Lou, I've got cash on me, so if the waiter comes back, I'll pay for Ranzo. Oh, don't you... You don't have to do that, Sal. You're not promoted yet, Captain. Just get me a drink tomorrow. You're a legend. How are we splitting it? Everyone all right to do five ways for the Tim? Sure. Sal does a little mental arithmetic. 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 That should be... Uh, thirty-eight fifty each. Maybe Shinbun was a better choice after all. Oh, wait, Billy, you only had water. Nah, I'm good with that. You sure? Billy tugs at his hoodie. Grants, uh, Grant, plus loans, plus the championship money. You haven't even... You haven't even done the championship yet? A bit presumptuous? Come out riding with me tomorrow and I'll tell you if you think someone can outpace me. I dare ya. Huh! No thanks. Sal turns towards the back of the room before she's interrupted. Wait, Sal, before you go. Ranzo gets up too, shifting sideways to get out from behind the table on the same side as Sal. I'm gonna head off soon. Come here. Okay, but I really need to pee. I won't squeeze you too hard then. Ranzo wraps his fuzzy arms around Sal's shoulders and gives them a few pats before pulling back. See you tomorrow. See you then, Ranz, and congrats again on the job. Ranzo smiles as Sal disappears through a worn door opposite the kitchen. Wait right on. See you directly, Billy. Have a good ride. You too, bro. Say hi to your mom for me. Will do. As Ranzo turns towards the door, he catches my eye. Catch you tomorrow, Riley. Seeing him step away, something in my chest drops. It's as though once he goes out that door, he might not come back through it. Okay. The door closes behind him. My feet move forward to catch up. The handle of the doors. Of the door scuffs against a worn spot on the stone archway as I follow him out into the street. Ranzo, hold on! Caught in the amber light of the entrance, Ranzo looks back in surprise. Oh, hey, Riley! Just wanted to say... I reach over and spread my arms around his broad shoulders. My fingertips can just can just about brush one another to, one another to the on the other side. I'm glad you're back. It takes a moment, but I soon feel his arms behind my shoulders. All right, Brad. I've missed you too! After a firm squeeze, we stand back and face each other. The doorway light bulb buzzes like it's about to die out. Like you know, copy time. All right. It's not been the same here without you. We both turn our heads towards the town. Fourth Warren glimmers below. Its windows dotted in the dark like individually placed candles. I like it here. I mean, I missed it too. I just needed something else. I'm betting a lot's changing the change, though. You want to go for that mosey round tomorrow? Show me what's new. I don't know if it's much of a sight to behold, but sure. It'd be nice to hang out either way. I'm free in the afternoon, so... Pauses. You want to come up to my mom's tomorrow morning? If she knows you're coming, she'll definitely get the biscuits out. So that's why I'm invited. Biscuit bait? Heh, <laughs> well, it's definitely a bonus. But really, she loves you. She does. She, she likes your big ears. He reaches out to give one of them a pinch. I flick them back in embarrassment, and stiffen my face into something more austere. You think she fancies me? Yeah, that's it. She's played the singles game for too long and she's getting desperate. What if she asks me out and I say yes? You have to start calling me- Stop. Don't say that. I've got nothing to, nothing in the, on, going on in the morning. To, uh, tell her to get the biscuits ready. Right on! I tell her she's got a strapping young, young man coming round. Can't wait. He paused for a moment, smiling, chuckling in light bursts. There's something calming about Ranzo's presence. He's brought home a coziness with him that's been absent for too long. Standing in the stone archway, scruffy tufts framing his kind eyes. It's... Nice. Ranzo kicks himself jauntily off of the thin strip of pavement. It's been lovely to see you again, Rybred. I can't help but turn up a smile whenever he says that. He's the only one who still calls me it. Ranzo strides off towards the slope, his mop-like tail swishing behind him. It's only now that I notice the smell of ash on the air. Joe stands about ten paces from the door. <clears throat> uh, hey! 
Sorry, man, didn't see you there. It's all right. It's just down the road. I was listening to I was listening or nothing. I wasn't listening to or, or nothing. I didn't think you were. Are you done with that? Yeah, just about. He shoves it out on the stone wall and walks past me. Hey, you okay? All good. Needed a breather. So let's start the bill. Calm music which filled the room as faded out, leaving it empty, aside from the occasional clatter of cutlery. It's closing time. What's the scores on the doors, then? 38.50 each. There's an inward hissing sound from Joe's beak as he reaches for his wallet. Sitting down to, a, to his pine, he slips a credit card onto the table. Once the waiter has finished his rounds, he thanks us again, before he's ushered over to the only other full table in the establishment. Our drinks are either, fin either finished swiftly or left as they are as we get ready to head out. At only 10 p.m., the town and the road are quiet. Thursday night, I suppose. We shuffle to a crossroad spotted in the light of a street lamp, but Billy sends a pebble clattering across the thin street to our right. There you go. Coffee time. Oh, yeah. Right? My place is that way. Have a good ride tomorrow. See you tomorrow, dude. Don't fuck up your other leg. Billy brings the sharp edge of his prothesis around to playfully smack against Joe's shin. I'll fuck yours up first. After some laughter and jostling from both of them, turns up turns up the hill to depart with a wave. See you, lads. You guys heading back to your place? Yep. You can come by if you want. Thanks, Riley, but I'm good. I get people I get people are tired tonight. Another time. No problem. We've got plenty of it. Joe uses a moment, of, a moment to pause to light a cigarette. So the gang's all back together, eh? Yep, it's been too long. Ooh, excuse me, you're telling me. Stray embers wander on the wind and die out. Joe's plumage shudders up with his shoulders. His feet edge the narrow lane on your left. Well, it's good to see you both. See you tomorrow. Don't be a stranger. See you then. With a wave of his free hand, Joe exits the light of the street lamp into a, into a bushy pathway between two houses. Oh yeah, Riley, you still owe me that pint. Sal lets out a soft sigh, then turns onward toward down the hill. You okay? I'm alright. It's about Joe- is it about Joe earlier? Not really. I mean, sort of. He's just doing what he does. I feel bad saying it, but Joe can be just a little bit much when he drinks. When it came up earlier that he- that we hadn't had him around, well, that's why. I mean, Billy can go hard sometimes, but... And that's fine. I love them both. They're fun. But remember how Joe got at your birthday? Hard not to. It was a wreck. Yeah, that was a bit much. I just didn't want tonight going the same way. Sorry if inviting him off, inviting him off the bat like that was weird. No, you're good. It'll be nice. I just want to bear. I just want to bear in mind. I just want you to bear in mind with him. Things are okay between you two, though, right? Yeah, we're fine. I'll talk to him tomorrow. I think we're all a little tense, but about today. I understand. Sal and I continue to walk. Our footsteps bounce between the stone walls to fill the lull in the conversation. We pass under a tree overhanging from a garden of a holiday home. Above us, its branches peel back to a quilt of white speckles. Good sky tonight. You want to get your telescope out when we get back? I should get it. I should get an early one, really. Forecast is, is good this week, so it should be like this for a while. Thanks for setting all this up, Sal. It's nothing. I like working stuff out. As we round the bend, we find ourselves in one of the town's warm pockets, shielded from the ocean air. A streetlight cuts open the shadow of the valley. The murky black is pushed aside to ensure that we're still treading the familiar path, the familiar path zone. In the middle of its aura, there's a flicker of white. This time, it isn't a sunbeam across a window. It isn't a reflection in a crowd. The sun has gone in, and the street is empty. Lights from the town and sky, which before shone bright, now feel faded, drowned in the incandescence of two golden eyes. They're white. Surprised. Sunflowers in a snowy field. His parted lips drift over soft pointed teeth to form a smile. His brows fall from their shock and come to rest above his eyes. The creases on his linen shirt ripple out as his shoulders drop. A lone word rises, uncertain in his chest. When it escapes, it fills the space between us. Riley? I'm stunned. I didn't think I'd ever hear that voice speak my name again. I can barely bring myself to nod. Feels like I'm cast in thick, dreamy treacle. It is you, isn't it? The silence breaks in my throat. Yes, it's me. Is that... you? As far as I can recall, yes. I thought 
thought I'd seen you earlier. Have you been keeping? I've been keeping well. Liar. <clears throat> what should I do for him? Glad to hear it. I'm loving the new look. He points to my sweater. Oh, thanks. Sorry, Riley, who is... Griff. I speak with certainty. It's Griff. Sal's eyes widen for a moment, sparked by the realization. Oh! She looks to Griff. We both move closer into the spotlight. It's good to put a face to the name. Riley's told me about you. <laughs> All good things, I hope. Of course, it was a long time ago, though. You guys used to date, right? Sal, you can't just... It's all right. Yes, we went for a went out. We went out for a while. Just went out. It was more than that, was it? Yeah, like Sal said, it was a long time ago. So, what have you been up to? Where have you been? Begging to know. Well, I moved with my folks. My folks back across the pond. Finished up school. And now I work. What sort of work? Antiques. I can sure they get where they need to go. I've got some pieces on that ship in the bay, actually. Wow, that's so cool. What sort of antiques? Stupid question. Pots of furniture, heirlooms. It's pencil pushing, really, but it lets me travel. How about you, Riley? He looks at me again with those shining eyes. I feel embarrassed if they weren't so so comforting. Nothing special. I just work at a cafe in town. Nothing special. People need good coffee more than they need a bunch of old trinkets. Maybe I should swing by. Uh, what's the place? The buoy down along the waterfront. I went past there earlier. Our artisan place. Looked nice. The numbness of shock has subsided, and I can feel the urgent thudding in my chest. How long are you here for? Just a week, unfortunately. I've got some engagements back home after that. We should do something, though. You free at all? Of course! Drop everything! I, uh... You've waited so long for this! Say yes! Before he realizes the mistake he's made. But being too eager might put him off. Sal nudges me from behind. I need to say something. Uh, Renzo just got back, and I promised I'd do some things with him, but maybe I can move something... Hey, don't go canceling plans for the likes of me. I'm here till after the festival. He doesn't want to arrange anything. Stick with Ranzo. Stick with Ranzo, yeah. But this sounds like an interesting path to go down. So maybe there are, there's four characters. Five characters to date, maybe? Billy, Sal, Ranzo... Wait. Billy, Sal, Ranzo, and Joe. And then him. Huh. Ugh. Huh. So I get up, y'all. Stick with Ranzo. I mean, I won't be busy all day, I'm sure. How about around five? Works for me. There's the har- There's the harbor work for you. This might be the last chance. Say so yes. Yes! Not that enthusiastically, you fucking moron! Huh. It's set, then. Do you mind if I grab your number? You're being too hasty. You're coming on too strong. Sure, I... He reaches for his pocket, but stops short. Shoot, I didn't bring it with me. It's a bit of a distraction on walks. I just don't want to talk to you. Take the hint. But if you write down yours, I'll send you a message. Don't get your hopes up. Oh, okay, uh, Sal, do you have your sketchbook? Not on me. It's gonna disappear again. Shit! Hey, it's cool. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do it, then. No, you won't. Don't let him leave again! Yeah. Tomorrow. Our eyes stay on one another. The streetlight above us pulses. It's late. We best be off. Yep. Come on, Reed. It was lovely to meet you, Griff. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our gold tier patron, Armor. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to our ultimate tier anyway. If y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our not safe for work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all. Now, see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.